Hello guys, welcome back to Kedicode. In this video, I am going to explain you about a sample mini project, Web Scrapping. So before going to the project details, what is Web Scrapping? Let's say if you want to buy a mobile, you go to a store outside and you will enquiry about uh, those mobiles like ROM, RAM, internal storage, brands, cost, rating, everything you will be enquiring. Not only in outside stores, but also in online websites like Flipkart, Amazon, you will go there and search about mobiles. And you will compare every mobile, like you will check uh, the things like RAM, internal storage, rating, customer's review, like that you will be checking every mobile, right? Then after you will be confused, like which mobile you have to take. So there you will note down every detail about the mobile or you have to memorize those things. So what if I say, if you run only one program, that is one sample mini Python program, which collects all this data for you, and store it in an Excel file where you can use that information to find out your favorite mobile or any other things you want to buy. Now that's where web scrapping comes into the picture. We will scrap all the data that is we'll extract all the data from that e-commerce sites and we'll store them in an Excel file where we can use the data for analyzing. We can even use the data for machine learning also. We can also take our raw data by scrapping from different websites and use it for machine learning models or even deep learning models because data is everything for machine learning and deep learning models. So let's deep dive into this web scrapping project. First of all, I have imported all the required libraries like request. Request is used to get the URL data, what it is present in the website. Then beautiful soup. Beautiful soup is a Python library, which is used to extract data from the HTML content. So we use this request library to know whether the website is allowing us to scrap the data using these headers, you can see uh, I'm using Mozilla version and Chrome version. And we can also even use authentication authorization methods in this request method library and get this all raw data. After getting this raw data here, here, we have to find a way to make this data into an format like HTML format, where it will be used to extract good data that is useful for us to make an Excel sheet, right? So that's where I'm using this beautiful soup. It is a library where we can extract all the things by using HTML parser and XML parser. And we can use some built-in functions in that library to get all the required information. Let's see. I'm taking the headers here. And this is a Flipkart page that I have been used here in this project. Let's see the content in this URL. This is the same content I have used in the example, right, about mobile phones. As you see here, there are a lot of mobiles and prices, rating, this is the name of the mobile, this is the cost, this is the rating, and there are some other reviews also. So we need to get all this data in an Excel format. So we will be able to compare one to many mobiles there itself. And there are a lot of pages to compare under this session. Let's see this. For now, I'm just scrapping out one page. Likewise, you can scrap every other pages also. Let's see. For example, I'm taking this page. That is the first page. I've used the request library to get all the raw data here. This is the content I was printing in here, in this cell. The response is 200, that is allowing us to scrap the data. And this is the raw data. And in second step, I'm using beautiful soup to make that raw data into HTML format. You wonder like, what is HTML format? So let me enlighten you. Let's say you have a website like this. If you see here, there is a, let's say this is a website format. And you have different sessions here inside. There is a small box. Let's say this is as a header. And there is some other box where this is the body of that uh, website. Inside that body, you have many sections out there. Like uh, there is some images and some descriptions, right? To make this website page, you need some tags in HTML. That is the div tags and the span tags. Also for making table, we have TDTR tags. While creating these tags, you may have to make some um, beautiful design, right? So we will be using some classes IDs for every different tax. And A is for using links. We define our link here in href attribute. And we use display test here to, to populate the test on the web page. So we will be using the classes here. So we will be using the classes here to extract the data from this div tags. Let's see how it is possible. So uh, the raw data is being converted into the HTML format using this beautiful suit. Let me show you. Let me copy the HTML content here. 
and paste it in a file. I'm creating a file here. Uh, Content.html like that. I'm pasting it over here. Formatting it. So this is the HTML content I was talking about. This is the formatted HTML content. If we take raw data, it will be more than lakhs of lines here before formatting. Then after formatting, if you see here, it is only some thousand lines, few thousand lines, right? So we have to extract the data from this HTML file. But wait, how do we extract the data from this HTML file? That's where we use beautiful soup. I'm just showing this content in your web page without any CSS and bootstrap. Now, this is the HTML content that we have passed without CSS and other designs. If you see here, see the mobiles, pictures, and the data rating, cost, everything is there here. You can note down everything in your notepad or some document, but this is a hardware, right? What I have promised you is, if you run a file, Python file, you'll be getting all the data in an Excel form, right? So let's jump on it. After extracting the raw data and passing it into HTML file, you'll be left over with this formatted HTML file. From this HTML file, you have seen this is the data that is present in that HTML file. So we have to extract all of this data and put it in an XML sheet. So the next step is to find the tags, right? So let's go to this website, Control Shift I to get this tab, inspect tab where we get that uh, div class tags. Let's say if I want to get the tag for this mobile, I have to select this icon and hover on it. And if I want to get the title tag for this mobile, click on the title. You'll be showing here some div tag here. See, for this div tag, there is one class underscore 4R capital R 01 capital T. This is the class for the div tag of the title for that mobile. If you copy this, class of this div tag then you are done from that class you will be able to get all the information in that div tag let's see how it is done by using beautiful soup we can do that soup is a variable where our html pass content is present so we have to use only one function here that is find all where you will be giving the tag and the corresponding class tag value to get the content of that div tag so if i use div and class of that div you will be getting all the information in the div tag as you seen here right there are many div tags using this class so there are many div tags inside these div tags so you're getting many gibberish uh, div tags here but we can format them let's say if i want to get this mobile title as i said there is only one div tag inside this div tag there are no other div tags but accept this title of this mobile right let's consider that if i find one more thing is here we have used find all so if i use find all we will be getting all the div tags which are having that class but if we use find we will be getting only the first div tag which is having this class right so this is the first mobile which is having this title and this class tag and this class tag for this div and this class for this div tag and if we consider second mobile it is also having the same class right so what I am doing is, I am taking a for loop, where in the content, I have to iterate through all the div tags which are having the class name as underscore 4R or 01T. So I will be getting all the title names for every mobile and I will be storing that in item name. Similarly, I will be using some other class tag to find the price and also the rating of that particular mobile. Now I got the name, price, rating of that mobile then i will be storing them in a dictionary why dictionary because i will be converting them to the xml format and also importing them as a data frame using pandas afterwards i will be showing those things afterwards see i have stored them in a dictionary format here i am printing each element of that uh, phone or mobile you can see the name the first mobile we have seen is a uh, apple iphone 14 blue 128 gb and the price is 60000 and rating is 4.6 let's see the data is correct or not the first mobile is Apple iPhone 14 Blue 128 GB and it is 60,999 and the rating is 4.6. So every data, minute data is correct. So likewise, I have extracted all the mobile phones in that one single page. So as I said, we have scrapped only one page. For one page, we got these many mobile phones information. If you want to get all the mobile phones information in that website, you have to scrap all the pages in that website. 
recording that mobile phones so we can use one more for loop to achieve it let's save this data in csv format that is xml format i have opened your file in write mode and used three headers name price rate and using the csv library i'm creating an csv format file then i'm writing the headers first headers is nothing but name price rate right and all the rows in the item list that is nothing but the dictionary format uh, we have created earlier using the scrapping and we are closing the file at last this is being created afterwards let's run this so it is done so let's use pandas to see how our data looks so this is the first five rows of our uh, scrapped data of that a single page in a look good looking way that is a data frame so we can use this data and we can do many things like we can import it in excel uh, sheets or we can use python only to analyze this data we can even implement machine learning to predict the price of these mobiles by using extra elements where there are uh, some features right we can extract those features from that website and we can make a machine learning model also so that's it for this video if you like and understand this video please subscribe if you have any doubts comment down below thank you guys see you in the next project videos